Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us once again to another Guzman's Boars and Angus video. Uh, today's video isn't going to be a uh, happy video or a video that I'm excited to uh, share with you guys. But uh, like I said in the past, I do want to be open. I, I do want to share the struggles that uh, my farm goes through and uh, hopefully uh, share with you guys um, so you guys can cannot make these the same mistakes I've, I've made. Um, so if you guys saw my past video, you guys do know that I, that I do have these two dolings that are going to be giving birth uh, fairly soon. Um, unfortunately, on this day, um, I was working. Um, I do work a full-time job. Um, and I'm not always able to uh, be around when the, when my does decide to kid. But I do have this camera set up, so that's why the video quality isn't all that great. Uh, so I do have these videos. I do go back, check on them. Um, on this particular day, unfortunately, I was extremely busy, so I wasn't... Uh, able to come home but as you guys can see this doe right here she is actually the one that kitted on this day here um so i, I did know that she was going to be due within the next day or two um unfortunately like i said i was extremely busy so i did not see the kids being born um and as you can see here she did have that kid um and unfortunately she is a first time kidder uh, so she she's approximately two years old um, so I wait, I wait about a year and a half to, to kid. Um, the reason I wait that long is because I do want them to mature to hopefully reduce the risk of what happened here. So this is actually the second kid that she had. Uh, she did have a, a kid off camera first. Um, and this is the second kid that popped up. Um, and as you can see, she's completely ignoring it. Typically when they, when your does have kids, they're going to clean them up really, really quick. First thing they do is, is, is they, they lick them dry. Um, so I went through all my, all my uh, uh, video recordings and she did kind of acknowledge it because uh, obviously it came out of her. So she's kind of curious, but uh, never once did she show any uh, material instincts. Um, she didn't clean the baby. The babies were crying. And unfortunately, she was interested just to see what it was, but uh, nothing as far as cleaning them up uh, or anything like that. And as you can see here, the kid eventually got up um, and started wandering around. And uh, not once did the doe come in and consolidate it. And like I said, there was a second kid uh, underneath the shed outside of the video camera, which was the same deal. Uh, by the time I got home and I realized that she wasn't uh, taking care of him, it was uh, unfortunately too late. So you can see here, she did have two two kids. Uh, this black headed one is a male and uh, the dappled uh, brown uh, was a female. Um, by the time I got home, it was already dark. It had already been a couple hours since the, the kids were born and unfortunately it was a cold night so for the for those of you guys that aren't familiar uh, when kids are born they need to be fed colostrum uh, preferably within the first four hours um, anytime that they don't they are not fed colostrum uh, their chances of, of making it is uh, drastically reduced um, unfortunately uh, this though like I said she didn't she didn't um, have any maternal instincts um you know when, when uh, times like these happens it's very easy to get uh, down on yourself um like i said both of these kids did not make it um obviously you want the doe to to um, um you know take care of her kids um feed them that colostrum but at the same time it also fa falls on my responsibility to make sure that i'm around to make sure that i pick up on these things uh asap um, unfortunately, like I said, uh, I was working, so it was a couple of hours after when uh, I noticed this, I came home and, uh, and uh, realized that she was uh, ignoring your kids. So typically, anytime that your um, does don't take care, of the, take care of the kids, you need to either milk the doe out to get the colostrum um, or hold her and attach the kids. Uh, like I said, it's very essential that, that your kids eat that colostrum within the first four hours. Anytime after that, it becomes um, extremely unlikely that, that your kids uh, are going to survive. Uh, so essentially what the colostrum is, is um, a bunch of vitamins, nutrients that are going to help the, your kids 
uh, battle any uh, infections, anything of that sort. It's uh, essentially it's their their immunity uh, to fight off anything anything that that could uh, uh, cause them harm. Uh, by the time I got to these kids, it was a little too late. Um, I did feed them colostrum, um, not from the dough because the dough um, it, it was really hard to milk her. So I did give them the colostrum replacement, but like I said, it was too late. Uh, by that point, it was over the four hours. Um, and unfortunately, I did end up losing these two kids. Um, the black-headed uh, buck did end up passing uh, that same day. And uh, the dapple-headed doe ended up passing the, the following day. I actually thought the dapple-headed was going to make it. But unfortunately, um, mistakes happen. And, uh, and uh, hopefully, um, you know you guys learn from my mistakes. And, uh, and hopefully, uh, in the future, uh, this won't happen to me again. With that being said, hopefully next week we do have a bit of, bit of better news. I am still waiting on the second doe to kid. So hopefully next week we uh, we come back with some better news. With that being said, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank you for being part of our group, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.